and welcome to my first YouTube video. Um, I'm Kaya, but you probably know me as Bubble on Instagram. And today I decided to do this little draw with me video. Um, I will be also explaining a bit how I use Procreate on a daily basis. Um, for all of you that are wondering or are curious about it. Um, but don't worry, um, I will be playing some cozy classical or jazz music in the background. So you can just um, chill in peace. <laughs> or you can just mute me and play some music of your own choice if you don't like mine. Um, and yeah, I hope you will enjoy! As you can see, I'm already starting with finished sketch and that's because I'm really bad at sketching. <laughs> it's even worse when I feel the pressure to draw. Um, so I prepared it beforehand so I don't make a fool out of myself on camera. <laughs> but um, that said, you didn't miss out on anything like, important. I just use technical pencil for my sketching and for my line art. Um, sometimes even I use it for my coloring and details. Um, it's a really versatile brush and it's one of, if not, actually my favorite. Um, I like clean sketches and line art, so brushes like technical pencil or Narinder pencil are just perfect for me. Also, I especially like the texture in these brushes and that's why I don't use plain round brush for lining. Thank you. 
I am a very indecisive person, so I always pick colors beforehand, so I'm not stuck on picking colors while coloring. Um, I'm just quickly putting blobs of color, color and looking what looks great. Um, I already had some colors in mind for this piece, so I quickly got over with it, but um, then you will see me struggling. Um, you will see me struggle a bit with the background colors. Um, usually uh, I also change saturation a bit before setting on the final colors because I like it extra saturated and crispy. I know that a lot of people will, uh, also like to use color balance, um, but I rarely um, use it. Uh, it basically makes your colors um, more in balance with each other, um, but I always forget to do it or I just don't like how the colors look after it. Yeah, so I rarely use it, really.
And now it's time for um, coloring. Um, since my line art is really clean, it's just like I am creating a coloring page for myself. Um, for laying my <coughs> flats, I use a hard brush um, in airbrush section. Um, I changed it a little bit so it wouldn't fade at the ends. So it really is just a perfectly round brush. Um, <laughs> I usually um, don't use any other um, brushes for um, colors because I really like my colors flat, like flat. And then I add texture on top of the flat layers. The character I'm drawing is actually a small guy that I came up with in my sketchbook. Um, at, the, at the end of uh, 2021, um, I decided that I would like to sketch more since I haven't sketched in a sketchbook for like years. <laughs> and so I bought like a really basic art creation and that's the brand I think, uh, 100 grams. Um, sketchbook and I already see a great improvement in my style and my abilities. 
Um, but coming back to the uh, concept, if you can call it a concept, <laughs> to be fair, I just wanted to draw my strawberry boy. He. <laughs> a lot of people has their own berry OCs, so I also wanted one. Um, and I put him in the most stunning outfit um, ever. He has a strawberry stem as his cape, then there's a cute pink button-up, and I just had to finish it up with Lelon official pants, like these bad pants. They are so good. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. And He's just the cutest.
always different for me. I treat every illustration differently and the brushes I use for texturing always differ. Um, sometimes I leave it just flat, um, sometimes I add technical pencil, but I also really like um, Max Ulrichny's brushes. Um, I own their uh, watercolor pack, but I really want to try how their other packs like um, the gouache one which is stunning, it's just so good. Um, but there's also a lot of free brushes that are really cool, like tinderbox or gouache brush, and so you can still um, add some great textures um, without spending a lot of money.
before I finish the piece, I always save it and then I paste it on top of everything, like every layer. Um, I really like to add noise to my drawings. Um, it's usually only 4 to 5 percent, but it still makes a huge difference for me at least. <laughs> um, and after this, the drawing is finished. Um, I had so much fun drawing and chilling with you um, and I'm so sorry for being this awkward it's my first time doing a voiceover or like speaking English on the internet um, and I would just like to thank you for being here um, and remember to take care about yourself um, you are the best I hope you like my drawing and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!